Hi, fans. Matt's here. So we actually got some uh, some questions, although no video questions. Difficages, difficages, secure. Uh, from Elkton writes, Matt's. Where do trolls live? This is a racist question because I know the answer you want is under bridges, but that's just a stereotype, and that's not cool. There are many different types of trolls which live in different environments. Most common trolls uh, would be forest trolls. They tend to live in forests, uh, usually in caves. Um, then you've got rock trolls who live underground uh, because, as everyone knows, when the sunlight hits a rock troll, they turn into a statue. Uh, then you've got ice trolls who live in Arctic environments. Again, most likely in a cave because uh, lots of wind. And uh, lastly, you have scrags, which, of course, live underwater. You're welcome. And Grant Gursky from Tennessee writes us, Why are squirrels so cuddly? I hate to break it to you, Grant, but squirrels really aren't that cuddly. They might appear bushy or furry or fuzzy, but if you were to you know, meander on up to a wild squirrel and try and cuddle or spoon or hug it, it's either going to bite, scratch, claw, hurt you in some way, and then run away from you never to be seen again. So, the question's wrong. They aren't cuddly, but they are adorable. So, our last question comes from a fellow Matt stranded somewhere in Pennsylvania right now, and he says, Dear Matt, being a fellow Matt, I know that responsibility comes with the name. With that enormous responsibility taking up most of my time, I've lost sight of what's important, scoring ladies. Matt, please tell me your finest technique for scoring chips. I'm desperate. The only attention I get is from gay Mexican cooks. Please help. Sincerely, Matt. Well, Matt, you're in luck. As you know, uh, especially from our Being Green PSA, we like ladies. So here's something you can do to help you pick up chicks just like us. Step one, be good at something. Like, for instance, comedy. Step two, do that thing in a place where ladies will see you. Like the internet. Step three, get ladies. It's pretty simple, really. Yeah, I usually just take like a $20 bill and then another $20 bill, which is usually stolen. And then you buy Monopoly money and use all the green ones, the 20s, mm -hmm. st stack them together, roll it up and put a rubber band around it. You walk up to the lady that you're interested in and hand it to her and she'll usually just do whatever you want after that. So that's, that's, how, I, that's how I got engaged. So, it's a true story. Well, next time you guys have any questions, just let us know, all right? Send them to the email. You know where it is, right here. All right. We hope to hear from you soon video questions next time.